So I am back. Had a long day today. Um, as you can see in the videos and pictures, I went to a gun show that was out here and we the peace we the people holsters was out there. And so um my dad likes t-shirts with like gun sayings and stuff on them and so I saw this and I thought it was nice and I asked him did he like it and he said yes so I got it for him it says peace love and hollow points and so I thought it was really nice and so I got this for him and um just got some cards from some businesses I didn't buy anything I'm looking for a light laser to go on my PCC that I just got because that will be my um, home defense, one of my home defense, but my major home defense. So I do want to put a light laser on it so I could, you know, identify if I hear something I can identify, you know, if it's my family members opposed to shooting a family member uh, in the dark. So that's why I went over there and just to see kind of what some of the local gun shops carry so um i saw some of the local gun shops that have some really nice and unique pieces um here you have to kind of search around and hope that you find something or they carry the company so um it wasn't a huge gun show but i was able to find some things that um and some new gun stores so I'm about to get ready for bed at uh, church in the morning and it's late and I'm tired. So on that note, um, if you're new here, my name is LaShawn Terry. I normally greet y'all in the beginning. Um, welcome. Hit that subscribe button and that notification link so you'll know when I upload. And you know, you can browse through some of my videos. I do have playlists. So you can hit those two to support me. And uh, with that being said, y'all have a good night, good day, wherever you may be. Hopefully you have a great weekend or week. Peace. Yo, yo, yo. Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is LaShawn Terry. If you are new, if you're not subscribed, what you waiting for? Click that button, turn it gray, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload. So I just wanted to come and show y'all some... Um, ammunition that I've been running through my guns. I started off running MagTech in my 9mm handgun. Have never had a really big issue with it. So when I got my 357, um, I used the MagTech. This is what I use for 38 Special. Um, I just bought another 38 Special but haven't tried it because I didn't need to open it because I still had that. No issues. Um, this is okay. This 22, I did have a few hiccups where the spent shell casing did not come out and that is not really supposed to happen with a Volkortsen. It's such an expensive, um, 22. Um, I do like Stinger, I mean SCCI. Um, I don't recall having any problems with CCI and my Volkortsen, but, um, I don't want to say I was being cheap, but I was I was trying to get more for my money. And instead of buying more Stinger, because they was a little bit more expensive, I went with this Federal, because you got more ammunition for the money. And then um, I told you I was using, I started off using MagTech. Um, I needed some ammunition and found a, a um, gun store um, in my area who said he had nine millimeter ammunition um and this is what he uses so i just been buying this um from him and have not had any issues in my handgun and i also ran this through um my new streebok with no issues no hiccups whatsoever i ran 90 rounds through it and this, I got this some months ago, um, just in case I wanted to use my 22 as a personal defense. Um, I got these for personal defense. I did shoot half of them to see how I like them, but the rest um, I just save just in case, you know, I want to go a little light 
carry. So that's my um, two cent on what I've been using and how it has worked for me. So peace. Evidently, this thing ain't got to be programmed. So what I'm bringing out here, I just wanted to show you how the magazines load because that's a big topic of these magazines is the way their functionality wasn't good when it came to um when it came to magazine loading for them so well, let me get my box I'm telling y'all let me get my box and my ammo bag is right here so I'm gonna just show y'all this is the um mag tech is what I shoot my um 357 my rage and Taurus hunter Taurus Raging Hunter. I also shoot 38 Special through it as well. So that's what I shoot through my Taurus. Um, I like MagTech for my nine for my nine millimeters as well. Um, so I was telling you about how to. The things work somewhere. Just show y'all. Let's see. Make sure this is right. Okay. Just make sure they back up. So they just snap down in there. It took me a little bit before I could figure out. So it goes in like a I don't know if you can see it like a zigzag, like a one off, one up. And this is a 30 round. So it's a, it's, it's a little bit different of a loading than with a regular like magazine. And you can't use load, front load loaders to load these. See, so you basically just put, push them down. Put it on them, push them down. So I like these much better than the um <laughs> than my six. Cause that thing is hard. You definitely need a um you definitely need a magazine loader for that sig, but it won't work for this. do it 30 times and I don't know if I said it I did run 90 rounds I used all three mags put 30 in each mag and uh, ran them down I got no issues I forget the kind of mag it was I threw the boxes away after I dumped, dumped the mag this is where it starts to get hard at when it starts getting filling up but it's a I don't know. I have to find it when I get another box, but it's a it's a good brand that I use. It's not too cheap and it shoots well without any hiccups. So this is filling up because it's getting harder to get these in there. So you see you just press down and they snap in place. And you're just waiting for the next one to snap in. Okay. 
for us when this one I wanted to show y'all me um at midnight snapping in uh ammunition into a gun into a magazine. So yeah the magazines are not bad. I think um this is probably like the 30th one is it? No, no one in. Just getting there. That one got in there. So let's see. Can I get one more? One more snap in. Do they have a count in here? I don't think they have a counter on here. But let me see if there's any more could go in. Yep. I think that's the last one. I don't think no more can get in. Can it? Nope. That must be 30. Because I'm not able to get any more in. It looks like it wants to go, but it's not. Nah, it's not going. So that's how if you fill a 30 round mag, I ran all the uh, 30, 60, 90 rounds through it with no hiccups, no problem with the, um, with the ammunition that I use and so I just wanted to show you how to load how the how easy the magazines load you get three of these so um, yeah um, so I normally stick with MagTech for ammunition CCI for my 22 seems to run good and it's another one I just can't think of the name of it um it's a really good um nine millimeter shooter I don't like to be mixing and matching up ammunition so I find one if it's good I stick with it but I know I've, I've used mad tech um those are the first ammunition I used on my sig was mad tech so I know those were good those are good um shots uh this is new to me this arm score usa um 38 special this one is new to me so we'll see how it roll but i'm about to go to bed i just wanted to finish up this um video for y'all showing my um me loading a magazine and um, I'm out. Peace.